What's up guys, we're back again for another Marvel Puzzle Quest video. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to cheese it out. I don't know, he's boosted. Um, 535 best build. We're gonna be using his blue to boost his strike tiles or just special tiles in general. We're gonna be using a boosted champ, uh, Deathlock, which is gonna, it should make them like crazy good. I mean, match damage wise, right? That's all we're gonna be trying to aim for at this point. Um, the reason why we have Ultron's black at three is because it steals AP or removes it. I forgot which one it does um, But that's irrelevant in my opinion because the stun is where it's at at three and at four and five all three levels Three four and five the stun still stays at two So why not keep it at three and let him deal damage with his Red why not let him deal you know active damage and throw out more strike tiles than less than fewer right so 535 best build um like if you're using a team with him that let's say chasm and um chasm and gargantos right then yeah put his uh black at five to steal all that ap you can and his blue at three maybe because like you're not really worried about the the buff on his strike tiles. If you can activate his red like two, three times in that match, then yeah, his blue will be pretty good. But other than that, keep him at 535. Five. Kitty Pride, 553. Five, five, you can put her at 535, 355. Five, five. You can put her at whatever you want to put her at. Doesn't matter. Yeah, her yellow buffs, um, some people, it's weird for me to see people use her yellow at three or four. But uh, like, you can use her at five four four five five three or five three five i take that back about her yellow i forgot that her yellow did heal i got a little too ahead of myself right there but yeah five five three and then obviously we're gonna be matching blue and red if we can use black and throw out the seven um tile the seven count on tile thingy or whatever like shang chi does but deathlock style and we're going to be increasing his match damage because we're going to be focusing these two just for him. He is the focus of this right here. And we're I'm going to be going up against uh, Scarlet Witch and Colossus. So that should be fun. It's probably not going to be. But uh, I really want to test him out and see see how good he is boosted. Um, so let's get... I, I guess we could put Scarlet Witch in front. So we're going to match... We want yellow for Kitty Pride. We want red for Ultron, which is fine, right? And then Ultron's gonna throw out those those strike tiles. So five uh, or fewer friendly strike tile, uh, friendly strike protect or attack tiles on the board. Ultron converts a basic tile adjacent to one of these tiles to a strength two thousand. 571 tile on, uh, of the same type. So basically strike tiles or defense tiles is what we're going here. Um, if there are more than five tiles, he improves a random one by 2,571. That's pretty hefty. But uh, against the two best tanks in the entire game, we're going to see how this goes, assuming they let us pop off. So we, I would say we got about a good six turns, maybe seven. Not too sure. I, I, I'm like calculating like that's how long we have before before they destroy us, right? Because if Kitty Pride dies, then I, I'm pretty sure I might lose this because we got a lot of uh, power increase and they got a lot of defense. So, and then with you know Deathlock on their team as well, it's kind of scary for that Scarlet Witch. You know, Scarlet Witch is really really scary. So, this one is what I'm talking about. His gravitational force. It still deal it, like it still stuns for two turns at three, four, or five. Doesn't matter. So keep it at three. If you want the AP still, yeah, put it four, five, four. I mean, like build them however you want to build them. But like those are just my suggestions. And then this right here only costs seven, so we're gonna be dealing quite a bit of damage and throwing out those strike tiles. So let's let's uh. Let's try to get that. Okay, they're dealing quite a bit of damage to me. So we gotta down Scarlet Witch first. So 
Hmm. Okay, we'll do this. 13,000. She literally cut that in half. We'll take a hit or two with Kitty Pride. Let's see. 5,000. We need one more yellow match. Can we do it right here? No. We got green though. Um. So we need black for Deathlock. Uh, Canada, the increase of Deathlock. Okay, so his focus points need to be at seven. So we are going to be dealing 50% damage. Uh, seven, and at the start of each turn, deals 50% of Deathlock's focus points damage. Bonus to all other characters ignoring projectiles, invisibility, and airborne tiles. Okay, so we're going to be dealing quite a bit of damage, including these, like, that's two, four, six, that's 7,500 extra damage. So this right here should get us that. One more match. Oh, no. Okay. Hive mind. So he just buffing these tiles. Crazy. Okay, we'll do that. We'll activate that right there. This is insane. So we really don't have an advantage outside of Ultron. Now, for those of you who are in 5-star land, obviously that, you know... Yeah, for those of you who are in 5-star land who don't have Scarlet Witch or Colossus, just use this team. It seems to be doing pretty well against them. Um, let's see. Like, if, I, I mean, if I were, like, if I didn't use boosts, it'd be a little bit different. But outside of that, I would still down Scarlet Witch first. Look at that. 17,000 match damage. I mean, with the strike tiles. So basically, pop off with, with his red. With his energy beams one time. Kitty Pride buffs those tiles. He buffs those strike tiles as well. That's two mega, like, crazy buffs per turn. They really don't stand a chance. I don't even think Colossus does. Um, we're going to leave Deathlock alive on their team. So that way, they might have a chance. So let's see what kind of damage they can deal. Outside of that, I just it's game over this is insane yeah this is this is a team to be using um it, it might not be a fast team but uh it, it works and it gets the job done we're still only dealing 5,000 match damage to colossus which is not that much and that's ggs that was literally just straight up aoe damage from deathlock's passive and with the strike tiles, Kitty Pride's buff, Ultron's buff, that is insane. To deal that much damage to Colossus, it's crazy. Like, it's wild. Um, but yeah, use that team if you have Ultron. I'm pretty sure like 99.100,000% of everybody has Kitty Pride champed or at cap level. Um, even if you have her yellow at 5, just level her up as much as possible if you don't care about be you don't care about the MMR and you have Ultron champed just use that team you see what it just did right there with one hit of the AoE it's ridiculous it's insane um you just got to activate Ultron's red one time let the let Ultron and Kitty Pride buff those tiles two three times and then pop off with Deathlock's passive and GG's it's game over but yeah that's all I have for you guys in today's video as always I'll catch you guys in the next one